Greetings everyone. Today we're going to explore writing equations of parabolas in focus directrix form. Um, you'll need your notebook. I don't have a foldable for this as it's pretty straightforward for jotting things down. Um, and then of course a writing utensil. Um, just a quick review of standard equations for parabolas. All right, so let's take a look. Remember that if it's x squared, that's what we're used to. So that means it's going to be a parabola opening up if it's positive, down if it's negative. And remember, we might have a horizontal and vertical shift. Remember, if it's y squared, that's what's new. That means it's going to open to the right if it's positive and left if it's negative. And again, you might have to incorporate that horizontal and vertical shift. Remember the shifts go with the letters. If it's with the X, it's horizontal. If it's with the Y, that's your vertical shift. And remember, it's always the opposite signs. Just in case you're interested, um, I'll post this link we didn't get into where that four comes from. What does that four mean? Um, that's sort of above and beyond what we want to take care of right now. So if you're interested um, and you want to learn more, I'll provide that link. All right, let's take a look at our first example. Um, first of all, take a moment to pause the video, jot this down, write the equation. You don't need the whole sentence, but you need the vertex and the focus information. Next, when I take a look at this, I'm a visual learner, so the first thing I'm going to do is do a quick little sketch. If I'm at 4, 3 for the vertex, and I'm at 4, negative 2 for the focus, that means, think of that whole satellite idea, that I'm looking at something like this. I don't know the width, or I'm not worried about that yet. Um, but what that does tell me is I'm dealing with an x squared equation, all right, because it's an up or down equation. Next, I'm going to take a look at this vertex, and I'm going to apply that to my equation next. That means I'm going to have a value added or subtracted from my x and from my y. So if my vertex is right 4, that means my x value is right 4. Remember the opposite signs. If my y value is up 3, that's going to be a minus 3. So I like to take care of that first. You can kind of do this in pieces, all right? Next, the focus is at 4, negative 2. So what I need to take a look at is the distance between my vertex to my focus. So let's see, I've got one, oops, one, two, three. Sorry, that's really bad drawing. One, two, three, and then one, two. Either way, I have a distance of three and a distance of two. So vertex to focus is five units. Okay, however you figure that out. If you take a look, the distance between 3 and negative 2, the y distance, would be 5. So however you figure that out, you're good to go. Guess what? That's my p value, okay? So instead of p, I'm going to put a 5. So that gets me a little bit further into my equation. Still have that 4. And there's one other little thing i got to think about. Is this parabola going up? or down. Because of where my focus is located, it is going down. So my final equation should be, let's simplify this, negative 20 with the y minus 3. All right, let's take a look at example 2. Take a moment to pause the video and jot the information down. This time we're looking at a vertex of 2, negative 5, and a directrix, all right, of x equals 3. So again, I'm a visual learner. I'm going to do a quick little sketch. If I'm at 2, negative 5, that's my vertex, and I have a directrix at x equals 3, that's a vertical line through the x-axis at 3. Color to coordinate here a little bit. So that means if that is my directrix, then my parabola is going to look something like this. Okay, and I can see that my distance here from my vertex to my directrix is a unit of one. So that's the distance between there. 
All right, so we're going to use this information. So the first thing I'm going to decide is this is a sideways parabola. That's going to be a y squared parabola. All right, so I'm going to start with that. Next, I'm going to consider my vertex. So my y value is down 5, which means it's going to be plus 5. And then my x value is right 2. So that means it's going to be minus 2. I like to start with the vertex. I feel like it's the easiest. Next, we need to use that p-value. That distance between the two is 1. So my p-value is 1. So I'm going to place a p in there. Or excuse me, a 1 in for p. Sorry about that. And then we have one more decision to make. Is this a positive? or a negative, okay? It's going left, so that means negative. So the clean way to write would be y plus five squared equals negative four times one with my x minus two. All right, let's take a look at one last example. So you'll wanna pause, jot this information down, and if you can, draw a quick little sketch. All right, let's take a look. Again, some of you will be able to do this without a sketch. You can just visualize the numbers or um, understand that distance relationship. And I'm totally okay with that, all right? Um, for me, I'm more visual, so it just makes it faster for me actually to, to sort of doodle it out, all right? So first of all, I'm gonna start with the focus. Interesting, we haven't had one that starts with the focus. The focus is at negative nine, eight. So at negative 9, 8, I have my focus. Let's label that. Then I have my directrix through y equals negative 6. So at negative 6. So what I'm caring about here is probably this dot. And I'm going to have my vertex somewhere in there. Let's talk about the vertex. I'm going to have to find out where that is. So my vertex is definitely going to be at negative 9. It's got to exist along that negative x equals negative 9. But now I need to find out where it is on a y value. Well, let's consider the total distance between negative 8 to negative 6. We've got a distance of 14. So my focus and directrix have the same distance to my vertex, which means 14 cut in half is 7. A distance of 7 would create my vertex here at negative 9, comma 1. Do you see how I got that 1? It's the halfway point is really what we're looking at. So a vertex of negative 9, 1. So now, if I want to take a look at writing my equation, let's draw a quick little sketch what that problem would look like if my focus is there. It would look something like this. I'm not worried about the distance, the details. It's just a general idea. All right. So I have to look. Is this going to be an x squared or a y squared? Well, it's going up and down. So let's start with the x squared. Um, then I'm going to deal with my vertex. So I'm going to have x value squared equals 4p y value. Let's take a look. I'm going to add 9 to my x minus 1 from my y. All right. And then let's talk about that distance, my p value. Focus to vertex is a distance of 7. We just used that 7. So my p value is 7. Um, then I need to decide positive or negative. And in this case, it's going up, so it would remain positive. So to write this nice, I would have quantity x plus 9 squared equals 28, parentheses y minus 1. Alrighty, you guys now know how to write the equation of a parabola in focus directrix form. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you get a hold of me. Um, but main thing, first of all, always check Google Classroom. What do you need? What's the practice for this? What's the expectations? All right, so Google Classroom. If you need to get a hold of me, shoot me an email, whatever you need to do. Keep in contact. And until next time, have a good one.